った<笑> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Sebastian, a medical student from Australia. And today I'm joined by my friend, Declan. Hey. Alex. Hey guys. And my girlfriend, Deb. And we are doing another anatomy quiz today because you guys really like the first one. And it's gonna work in a similar fashion. Deb's prepared 30 questions for us to answer and we'll get one point for every correct answer. The loser this time, the punishment is that they have to drink a shot of wasabi and if Declan, Alex and I can answer all the questions correctly, then Deb has to take the wasabi shot. And so let's see if Declan can get some revenge from the first quiz battle, and let's see if the newcomer Alex can pull out a win. Alright, question one. In anatomical orientation, which chamber forms the anterior surface of the heart? Declan? Left ventricle. Alex? Right ventricle? Correct! Yes! yes. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, question two. Does the azygous vein terminate on the left or right side of the body? That's right. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was easy, Deb. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to drink this wasabi shot? Like, do you want us oh, to win? True, actually. The ductus arteriosus is a fetal vessel connecting which two structures? The aorta and the right atrium. Mm. Oh, oh no, the... it's not. Um, the uh, pulmonary artery mm -hmm. and the aorta. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had it in my head. I was just like, what is the name of the thing that goes into the lungs? Question four. What is the deepest pericardial layer? Alex. The endocardium. Mm. Pericardial layer. Oh, what's that? <laughs> the deepest pericardial. Um, oh, yeah, no, I know this one. Yes. This rule. Pericardium. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. I was like, is it, is it pericardium? Is it, is it that straightforward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you, were yeah, thinking, you were thinking laser. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Question five. Which layer of the pericardium is pain sensitive? <laughs> yes. Parietal? Yes. Yeah. Parietal? Yeah. And oh. it's innervated by oh, the phrenic yeah, yeah, yeah. nerve, right? Or something? Question six. Which artery runs in the posterior interventricular sulcus? Right anterior descending. Mm. Okay. Yes. Left circumflex artery. Wrong. Well, Those are the two answers I would have given. It's a definitely yes, interventricular you're... artery. Can you? The po posterior interventricular artery. Correct. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> right anterior descending. <laughs> mate, mate, we're keeping the dream alive. We have to beat them, okay? Question seven. Which cardiac chambers are lined with trabeculae carnae? Oh. The um, left ventricle. Yes. Yes. And the right ventricle. Correct. Yes. Okay. I, I had that. So, I, had yeah, that. I knew that. <laughs> I had that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Question eight. Within which cardiac chamber is the crista terminalis? The right yes. atrium. Correct. Uh, yeah. I, just as you buzzed, I got it. Yeah, yeah sure, right. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Question nine. On an ECG, what are the inferior leads and to which coronary artery do they correspond? <laughs> two leads two, three, and AVF, and they correspond to the LAD, the left anterior descending artery. Incorrect. <laughs> uh, so it's two, three, AVF, and it corresponds to the uh, right coronary artery. Correct. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's a yeah. right coronary it's artery. artery. It's, uh, oh. it's the inferior side. Uh, the anterior is the LAD, makes yes. sense. And the right yeah. coronary is inferior. Yeah. Okay, question 10, and our final question of the cardiac round. Oh, no. Alex is in. Final question <laughs> of cardiac round. I'm just gonna guess. Okay. Tetralogy of Fallot is a congenital cyanotic heart defect resulting from the occurrence of four defects. Identify these four defects. All four. No way. So we have right ventricular um, thickening. You have an overriding aorta. We have a interventricular septal um, defect, like a foramen, like so an open hole. So a VSD, ventricular septal defect. And the last one Psych him out. <laughs> is a pulmonary artery obstruction. Incorrect. No way. 
Ooh, oh, that sounded right to me. It sounded right. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what. You get. You also get transposition of the great vessels. Correct. Oh. <laughs> but wait, fact check. My answer before was actually correct, and the four features of Tetralogy of Fallow are on the screen now. Deb was writing these questions at 2 a.m. the night before, so it's an honest mistake, and we'll just give Alex the point for the continuity of the video. Okay, now on to the next section. Okay, question 11. What nerve or nerves provide sympathetic innovation to the hindgut? What the hell? Yes. Is it the pelvic splanchnic nerves? Incorrect. <sighs> yes. Sacral splanchnic nerves. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, splanchnic, sorry, sacral Sy and pelvic are both uh, parasympathetic, yeah, yeah. of course. I, I was going to say the, the sympathetic trunk. Incorrect. <laughs> yeah. Well. All right, boys. Well, Deb is <laughs> out of the challenge, so it's just between us three. Oh, no. That feels so bad. What was the answer for that? What was the so, answer? The correct answer are the lumbar splanchnics which originate from oh. L1 to L2. Oh, yep. Question 12. From which embryonic layer does the pancreas arise? <laughs> yes. uh, yes. Mesoderm. Correct. Oh, it's the other one. <laughs> Come on. Endoderm? Yes. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's either mesoderm or endoderm. <laughs> it's funny because you all have three options. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Where does the mid gut start and end? <laughs> it starts at the major duodenal papilla, which is the second part of the duodenum. That's where it starts. Mm -hmm. And it ends at the splenic flexure. Mm. I always thought it ended like halfway between the splenic flexure and the hepatic flexure. Incorrect. Mm. Incorrect. Yeah. Alex? Uh, major duodenal papilla in the second part of the duodenum through to two thirds through the transverse colon. Correct. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think my favorite. I, I gave you guys that one. I, I, I set you up. Yeah, I set yeah, yeah. you up. My favorite part of that was your different pronunciations of duodenum between. Du oh, yeah. du duodenal papilla. Let, let us know in the comments if you say duodenum or, or duodenum. duodenum. <laughs> Alright, I'm you curious. Wait, between... who says duodenum? <laughs> Alright, next question. Folds in the gastric mucosa and submucosa allow for stomach expansion. What are these folds? Rugae. Correct. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Next question. The upper esophageal sphincter is made up of three muscles. Identify two of these. Skeletal and smooth muscle. <laughs> Not the sphincter. It's made up of three muscles, man. <laughs> Identify two of them. Oh, oh it's, the, it's the actual muscles, bro. No, that counts. That counts, that bro. Counts. You're out of the question. Declan? Um, so, one's definitely cricopharyngeus, and then there's also the inferior pharyngeal constrictor. Correct. Nice. Very Let's good. go. Oh, I'm falling behind here. Oh, I'm oh, falling oh. behind here. Diamonds are made under pressure. Man. Think, think All right. You actually are. Okay, question 16. Identify three features of the large intestine not present in the small intestine. Except. So you have horstra, you have appendices epiploicae, and you have pies patches. No. <laughs> so you got um, horstrations or horstrates, yeah. appendices epiploicae, and tiny coli. Correct. I haven't pronounced any of those right, and I apologize. Tiny All right, question 17. What is another term for the pouch of Douglas? Retrine. Retrine, retro and uterine, retro uterine pouch of Douglas. Wrong. What? Oh, retro uterine <laughs> pouch of retro re, recto <laughs> uterine pouch. That's what I said. Correct. You said oh. the retro uterine. You said retro, not recto. And you, and you said retro uterine <laughs> pouch of Douglas. <laughs> yeah. Dude, <laughs> recto uterine, uterine pouch is I the pouch the, of Douglas. And Sever is right back in there. Yes. <laughs> Okay, question 18. An indirect inguinal hernia results from herniation of the bowel through the deep inguinal ring. This arises from incomplete closure of what structure? Alex? The inguinal fascia? Incorrect. Mm. What is he even referring to? Hesselbach's triangle? 
right no, now. No, 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 no. Hasselback Triangle is it's direct. completely it's different. Direct. Okay, well, the answer is the process is vaginalis during embryological. I have <laughs> never heard of that in <laughs> my life. Yeah, yeah. All right, I have oh, heard of it. What? I have, I have heard of it. Question 19. The bird's beak sign on barium swallow is a common finding in what pathology? Esophageal achalasia. Correct. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying that. to figure that. it out. Yes. I was like, Oh, it's, that slide is burned into my brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Question 20, final question for gastro. In an intussusception, what is the name of the layer that telescopes into the bowel? Wait, what? He's just like, he's, 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 okay. he's gonna have a look. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. The outside, the outside layer. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. Mucosa. Incorrect. Submucosa. Incorrect. So the answer is intussuscipients. Never heard of it. So, <laughs> Homo sapiens. None of us are getting that. <laughs> Alright, well that's the end of gastro. Yeah. On to the next section. What's the next one? Question 21. Which spinal tracts run in the medullary pyramids? Um, the corticospinal. And the cortical uh, bulba. Correct. Oh what? Correct. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! I didn't know I didn't know the cortical bulb went in the um clutch time. Yeah. Question 22. Which nerve fibers conduct sharp pain? Seb. Um A B to fibers. Incorrect. C fibers. No. Incorrect. A delta. A delta. Yes! Oh. A delta! When you said A beta and she just laughed, yeah. I was like, oh, it mustn't be A. Question 23. To which Rexid lamina does the substantia gelatinosa correspond with? Alex. Two, three, and four. Incorrect. You go. Is it Quinn? two and four? Incorrect. If it's two and three. Incorrect. Oh, it's two. Yeah, it's just two. Yeah. Well, you know how you have Broca's areas in the brain? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have a similar thing you can do with the spinal cord, and you can divide the ventral and dorsal horns into layers. Yeah. And so the spinothalamic tract, it, its synapses, or the substantia gelatinosa, yeah, exists in layer two yeah. of the dorsal horn. Okay. So I need to... that, it's another way of looking at it anatomically. Okay. Question 24. In the dorsal spinocerebellar tract, proprioceptive information enters the spinal cord between which spinal levels before synapsing on Clark's nucleus? C2, C3? Incorrect. C5, C6? Incorrect. Declan? Like L2 to C1? That's way off. L2 to C1? Hey, 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 in there! It can come in lots of levels. That's it. Incorrect. So, the dorsal spinocerebellar tract Information will enter the spinal cord between the levels of C8 and L2. Oh, see, I was close. L2 above, to C something. Above C8 is the cuneocerebellar spinocerebellar tract. Below L2 is the ventral spinocerebellar tract. All right, question 25. What are the four trigeminal nuclei? Oh, I can get three of them, but I'm going to help one of you guys out. I don't. I can't even name two. Go and guess the four. Mesen, mesen. Cephalic, mm -hmm. um, spinal, proper, or primary. Correct. Oh, it starts with P, I think. Yeah. Alex. So you got the mesencephalic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mesencephalic, spinal, yeah. chief, or primary. Mm -hmm. And then oh, the, fourth yeah, the fourth one is. No, I can't remember the fourth yeah. one. Okay. So the four trigeminal nuclei is you have one motor. Motor! Motor! <laughs> motor! motor, 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 motor. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, start that again. How did, how did we not know the motor? Dude. I forgot the motor was I was going to say motor, but I thought spinal and motor were the same thing. <laughs> so you have one motor and three sensory, one being the motor nucleus of trigeminal, then you have the mesencephalic nucleus, then you have the chief or principal sensory nucleus, and then you have the spinal trigeminal nucleus. Question 26. 
The confluence of sinuses is formed by the merging of which two sinuses? Oh, he's got it. So you have the superior sagittal and you have the um, the straight sinus. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Nice. Bro, I was like, are you going to get straight sinus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Question 27. In multiple sclerosis, a lesion in the medial longitudinal fasciculus... I know. Correct. Wait, hey, hey, it's a nuclear ophthalmoplegia. You gotta finish the question. <laughs> I knew what the question was gonna be. Yeah, I knew but... what the question was gonna be. Oh, so we can buzz in before the question finishes. Yeah, if you want to. Oh, I didn't know that. Results are more conditioned. Damn. Damn. I, need, I need to catch. Yeah. I need to catch up. Yeah. Dude, wait, you're only one behind Alex. Yeah. One behind How did Alex. Happen, All right. Question twenty-eight. The spinothalamic <laughs> tract is made up of the anterior and lateral pathways. What sensory modality is carried in the lateral spinothalamic tract? Yep. Pain and temperature. Correct. Dang it, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Question 29. The cerebellum is separated from the cerebral lobes by which structure? Tentorum cerebellum. Correct. Oh, oh, I was going to say detective. Oh, that's the... Oh, uh, now, I'm not going to answer this. <laughs> and so whoever gets the last one. <laughs> this is going to be such an easy question as well. <laughs> Alright, final question. <laughs> the cerebellum developed from which embryonic portion of the hind brain? Oh, wait, wait, so actually, there's the. No, there was Declan. Okay, Declan. Um, metencephalon. Correct! Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. So there's like five parts telon, cephalon, dian, dian cephalon, yeah. um, mesin, metin. Myelin, myelin yeah. and myelin was for the medulla. Yes. Cerebellum slightly above that. Yes, so that's, so that's the tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, do you want me to I move so you can? I Alrighty, so Declan's out of here. <laughs> Let's Declan's go. He's free. He's free Woo! from the wasabi. Alright, guys. So Declan is safe. He is out of the competition. He's beat us both. And we're gonna go to a tiebreaker. So Deb's gonna ask us some rapid fire questions, and the first person that can get three of them right um, will not have to drink the wasabi. Oh, so, oh, oh. let's luck, go. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Okay, so rapid fire. First question, where is bile produced? Deb. The liver. Correct. Nice. <laughs> it was so tempting to say yeah, the gallbladder. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. so tempting. Okay, next question. What nerve pierces and passes through the parotid gland, but does not innervate it? Seb. Facial. Correct. Oh! Oh, oh no! <laughs> come on, Alex, come back. I'm supposed to I'm so much slower Did you than know it. that? Yeah. You knew it, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm a little bit... Just, I'm, I'm just buzzy now. Just Next question. Between which vertebral levels does the esophagus span? C4 to T10. Oh, you're no. so close! You're so close! Oh, T11. C4 to T11. Right. Wow. <laughs> Wait, did I just... Did I rush it? Was it C3 to T11? It's C6 to T11. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never seen bro. someone so happy to get the answer wrong. I was wrong. sweating, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. It's okay. still 2-0. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Let's, let's I, I don't think... I'm not, I'm not quite Okay, okay. next question. What is the purpose of the anterior draw test? Alex? So, the anterior draw test tests the... Um, uh, test the ACL. Correct. I was gonna say, no, I was, I was gonna say yeah. the word integrity. Alright, next question. What are the four muscles of mastication? Oh. The masseter, lateral pterygoid, medial pterygoid, and the temporalis muscle. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, just because you busted it faster, I knew the answer. Oh, oh my. Oh, 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 dude. Prize I one. knew the Let's answer. Go. Okay. His ego couldn't take it if he lost. So. I knew the answer! <laughs> Alex put up a pretty good fight. Declan smashes both, but time to make the wasabi drink. Woo! Alrighty. <laughs> Which I don't have to drink. You won? Any, anything you want to say for of... your, your revenge victory? Yeah. Oh, very nice to uh, <coughs> have come back. <laughs> <laughs> very nice to come back with a, a nice big W to beat both uh, Seb and Alex by a fair bit. Um, but let's get on to making the, uh, the drink. <coughs> making the wasabi drink. How much are we putting in? Squeeze until your heart tells you to stop. How much do you reckon? Oh, yeah, I reckon that's enough. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh. How's that? Is that enough with water or? A little bit. I don't want to kill my friend. That's a little, this is too small. T that's enough. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. That's a lot of the That's quite, that's a lot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
Bro, that's oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this time we went a little bit easier. Not the complete drink, but let's have a shot. Let's have a go. Thumbs up, lads. <sighs> oh, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, you can can you feel your sinuses getting empty? No, it's fine. Oh, I feel it now. Oh, that reflux. Is it, is it hidden you? Mm -hmm. Oh, bro. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up the video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more content like this. But until next time, this is Sebastian, Declan, Alex. Stay sharp. Stay sharp. <laughs> <laughs>